Hey guys, welcome to Scotland's America, the final one for this year. It's been awesome seeing all different places, Texas, Nashville, uh, Wisconsin, and now we're here in my hometown in Charlotte. We're at a place called Reed Goldmine. They found gold here 50 years before California. I've got Larry here from hey. Reed Goldmine. Hey, Great to see man. you. Oh, yeah, he's gonna show me around. He's gonna, we're gonna pan for some gold. It's a little bit chilly here today, but happy to get the, the fingers a bit cold and have a bit of fun. Gold itself, is an element. Mm. It was it's, it was part of the formation of the earth and through volcanic activity millions of years ago that it brought the gold up yeah. with the magma. In this area the gold became trapped in quartz veins. Really? And yeah. so the miners originally were finding it on the surface yeah. and then discovered it came from the quartz veins yeah. and then that's what allowed them to start going underground yeah, okay. to find it there. Now this was Gene Cernan's helmet, the Apollo mm -hmm. missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting property of gold is that it can be made transparent. Yeah. And so it can be used to coat the visors, anything like that, yeah. to help protect them from the harmful rays of the sun yeah. out of the atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, if you want the best visor to protect yeah. you from the sun while driving, yeah. coat it with gold. Really? Okay. <laughs> now, wow. maybe a little expensive. All right, it's done, 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 done. <laughs> Here's how it looks as it comes out of the ground, basically. These are natural, pure gold nuggets. Yeah. And as they started to, at this site, looking along the creek beds and beside the creek, this is how the gold would have looked mm -hmm. as they found it. So it was this all found? This is yeah. all found in Cabarrus County yep. and the surrounding areas through here. That was- Gives me hope for today. If you can, imagine we yeah. pull one of those bad boys out. Oh yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be a good day. Like <laughs> here we have the reproduction of a 23 pound gold nugget. Yep. And this one was found in 1896 on our property in this Nugget was so well known, the Smithsonian Institution even came down to document it before it was sold in Melted Off. But just imagine, this is where they would just randomly dig holes. So these are the holes. These are the holes. Yeah, yeah. See what's at the bottom. Now, a lot of these have been filled in. These were a lot deep. Originally, they would have been around five to 10 foot deep. Yeah, wow. But imagine digging random holes like this, yeah. but finding gold in the bottom of it. But if you didn't find gold, you just moved to a different spot yeah, and dug there. Out. Awesome to learn a bit more about the history of Reed Gold Mine. Tune into the next episode as we go inside the actual mine, and also we're gonna go pan for gold as well.